Hello, my name is Max Drake. I just want to talk to you about a, a spending tracker that I'm using at the moment, which is uh, I use Google Sheets and I've got a, a Google Form that um, I, I um, use on my mobile phone and I fill in after I've done some shopping somewhere and uh, I've got these required places like um, $10 and I pay by card and it's not billable. This billable is to do with can I claim some of my company expenses on it or not and no I can't on there and the comment is for um, dog biscuits. I always have to have something. Now the payee here I can either type in the whole payee thing or what I actually use on my mobile phone is this Phase Express, which you can use a free version of. And I have a whole lot of comp uh, places where I go and do my shops, that I go and do my shopping. And on this particular uh, thing, I actually have a tilde and P, and it puts in, if I just do tilde P, it'll uh, put in the actual term and expression that I want. So there I've got it all filled in and I can go submit. Initially I actually had date on here but what I found that if, if Google Forms uh, does a uh, row update or puts in a row it automatically does a timestamp so I don't need to do anything because the timestamp's there. So we try to do that and uh, Matt Samter has talked about um, having the on edit not firing through in Inside the glide apps um, one of the issues so inside glide apps what I'm trying to do is see if I can end up with a few apps all in the same one glide app so this one here if I actually use a spending tracker through here I have an item and fortunately like the other one automatically does that this doesn't so I've got to put in the month and then I've got to put in the day and then I put in the amount and I put in the payee and I can choose payee now if it's not in the list you can't put in a blank inside this um, choice so what I actually do is just use other and then I have another line where I can put in so I can say um, uh, car wash uh, BP we'll say and the payment method well I did that by card uh, billable well part of it I can put down to expenses of the company as I'm using the car and then I can say car wash whoops and then just go add and that adds it through now one of the things that I'm doing here is that um, if I one of the things which I find a bit limited of the um, summary is that you've got a title which is the date which is what I want to see which day did I actually spend the money and a lot of the times there's a sort of the amount well that doesn't really tell me much and if I go to payee it says that I've been to that shop and I spent some money and then I've got to dive down and go and see how much I actually spent um, so what I've actually done is I put a formula in there uh, which is for display so what it says is I've spent a certain amount of money um, in this one here in the countdown supermarkets or in this one here the warehouse and this one here are oh, in another place called that now this last one that I've just inputted has got blank now the way that I've done that is that I've got a, a formula there which is just concatenate all of these things together so that's all it's doing is just doing a little concatenation and putting it into that last cell now it doesn't automatically put those into there so um, I've found somebody else who's done this can't say that I've created this from scratch myself and found this formula where basically you take that formula and you copy it down it goes and finds out how many rows in the sheets that you've got and in this one here I've just added another one so it doesn't do it automatically at this point in time but what I can actually do with this so at this point in time I'm just going to run that formula there and uh, and it's running the formula now if I go back you see that it's come down through to the new one. Um, oh, that's interesting. It's got a P on there. Um, we just take that P out of there. It shouldn't have that. Um, uh, so that's quite a nice way of uh, on the app to give me a bit of general information on here. I can actually just reload the app and do that and update. Now the thing is with that is that that isn't an auto. That is an automated function. And what I think I'm going to have to do is that I think I'm going to have to run that function at a certain time. So I think I might just do it daily and just say go and run that formula on that sheet and uh, it'll work through all that. So it's a way of putting, uh, which I did find in Glide, which is the limitation of the details 
Whereas this, I think, gives me th- that much. It gives me a better heads up. So, in fact, this is a better app. I don't like that on there. Um, this, in my opinion now, is a better app than what I've got with uh, the Google Sheets because the only way I can actually see an overall indication of what I've been spending on a day-to-day basis is to come into the Google Sheets. The form just is an input. So once you've done the input, it disappears and goes into Sheets. You don't actually have any heads up uh, in on your mobile phone unless you go and open up uh, the app and open up Google Sheets to see what your spending is. Um, whereas in the Glide one, You've got a sort of an indication of how much has actually been done over time. So um, uh, and I think there might be another one that I might actually have a sell so that I can have a total so that I can see what my monthly expenses are for that. Um, so I think that's another addition that I may have to think about doing later on. So I hope that's been of interest to you. If you enjoyed the video, please give a thumbs up. Thank you very much for watching.